After making a stunning directorial debut with The Witch in 2015, Robert Eggers returns to helm the Northman, his most ambitious project yet. The historical epic is said to have cost somewhere north of $70 million to make, a huge jump from the shoestring budgets behind his two previous films. But does all that additional money translate into a better movie, or does his latest film get bogged down by the conventions of blockbuster filmmaking? Hi guys, Michael Abayimi here, and today, I'm reviewing The Northman. The film is loosely based upon the legend of Hamlet, a Viking prince on a quest for vengeance. Having witnessed his father die at the hands of his uncle, he vows to save his mother from his evil clutches and to bring bloody retribution to the usurper. But it would appear that the gods have greater things in store for Hamlet, and he will be forced to choose between fulfilling that destiny or carrying out his vengeance on those who have wronged him and anyone standing in his way. From the moment I first caught wind of the Northman, it looked like a film with heaps of potential. Not only was he being helmed by one of the precious visionaries working in Hollywood today, but he also had him stepping outside of his comfort zone to tackle something that looked very grand in his ambitions. But don't let his big budget aspirations fool you, The Northman is still an outhouse film at its core. This is not a knock on the film or its marketing by the way, just my way of attempting to help set realistic expectations. Its classic revenge tale is interspersed with plenty of surrealist imagery, and the action takes a back seat in favor of beautiful short compositions. All these things work together to lend the film a visual identity that has Robert Eggers fingerprints all over it. Even the dialogue and the actor's deliveries bring to mind his power work on both The Witch and The Lighthouse. And much like those films, this latest one has a supernatural element that has you questioning what is real or make-believe. Speaking of actors, the film has a stellar ensemble that features past collaborators like Anya Taylor-Joy and William Dafoe, as well as Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, and Ethan Hawke. Each one goes above and beyond with their performances, helping elevate the material past the appeal of a typical revenge flick. Gorehounds will be pleased to know that the film wears its R rating like a badge of honor. This is a movie about Vikings after all, doing Viking stuff and generally being loud and aggressive. There are more than a few decapitations and disembowelment sprinkled throughout the film, but it never becomes needlessly excessive. The Northman marks yet another win for Robert Eggers, proving that he can just as easily excel at big budget productions. It is easy to see where all the money went, with its high production values and mesmerizing visuals. Its violence and artful approach might not be to everyone's taste, but its brick spacing and easy to follow story should ensure that it stays captivating enough for everyone else. I'll give the film a 9 out of 10. What did you think about The Northman? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching this review and to subscribe to the channel notifications turned on if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. And until the next one, this is Michael signing off.